morning. Welcome back to the course. It's about 6.10 in the morning and uh, we got another inch of rain last night, but it is not raining now, nor is it expected to rain today, which is awesome. So we're going from 6 a.m. to 3.30 in the afternoon today. And the first thing that we're doing is we're basically going around the entire course looking for these drains and subsequently taking a broom and breaking up all of this grass clipping thatch debris that you see. So I've done a little bit here. What I'm doing is just taking the broom, breaking this up. It looks like that before I do that. And then once I have it in smaller particles, I guess, then I'm gonna take a blower and get it off the fairway. So that's all we're doing. There's a lot of drains on the course, as you can imagine. So it'll take a little bit of time. Not the most exciting thing in the world, uh, but it will make the course look uh, much better. And uh, all the grass that's underneath this thatch and debris um, need to breathe and get sunlight. So um, it's definitely needed, just not terribly exciting. But anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. Let's get after it. All right, so that's pretty much how it should look once you're done. Just breaking up that dirt, that thatch layer, and uh, moving on to the next drain. We're also um, gonna grab as much debris as we possibly can. So that's one of the things that we're assigned to. So if the assistant superintendent or superintendent comes around and finds debris, then that's gonna be on us. So we're gonna be sure to grab as much of that as we possibly can. Probably have to make a few uh, dumps back at the shop, but other than that, uh, let's get rocking. We started on 10, so we're gonna go 10 through 18 and then double back at one through nine. There's kind of this ominous haze over the ground this morning. It's 79 degrees here. Um, I think I was actually watching a football game yesterday where it was snowing. So if you guys are in a cold weather climate, I hope you're doing well. Staying warm, staying safe. Uh, not really an issue here, but we, uh, we can't drive on the fairways and most of the drains are located there. So basically take our flashlight walk around in the dark and uh, see what we see. I wish that was the sun, but it's not. It's just a golf cart. All right, just cleaned up another drain, which you can barely see off to the left there. Um, when you're doing this, just be mindful that you do have a blower. It is six o'clock in the morning and there are homes around this golf course. So you have a job to do. Um, no one's gonna fault you for making noise. It's what you have to do, but just don't have your blower on for no reason. Uh, do what you can as quick as you can and then move on. Uh, we don't really obey a noise ordinance on this course. If people ask us uh, to quiet down, then we'll certainly accommodate that and try to fit into the schedule. But as far as working um, we pretty much start at 6 a.m. And, and that's the way it goes other courses uh, around here in Florida they do obey some sort of nor noise or ordinance and they start later in the morning than we do maybe a 7 a.m. start so um, you know that's just something to be mindful of, of when you're picking a course to work at there's a high probability at this time in the morning you're gonna run into a family of foxes digging in the rough areas for beetles, stuff like that. So, upon seeing those foxes, just run. So here's another little patch. As you can see, and if we come over to the drain, we just want to clear this up, get the water flowing smooth through there, clean up this debris layer, keep on moving. Hope you guys like frogs. There's a bunch of them.
guessing there was some sort of event here yesterday after we left around 9 a.m. Let's see if there's any uh, cold beers in here for us to drink. No. But there are a ton of waters. We'll take one. Let's try here. Uh, just a bunch of towels. Oh well. And this is card is called the Pope Mobile. I have no idea why. Well, the sun's up, which is helpful. See a little bit better. As you can see back there, we just got to the first hole, so we already did the back nine. Not so bad, right? So we're gonna continue rocking through the uh, the front nine here, clean up what we can see, and uh, figure out what's next on tap for us. So here's a good example. You can see a bunch of standing water, and if you look closely, you can see there's a drain. This course does not drain well. I don't know if I told you that. You can probably have guessed that by now. But over here, you can see the grass clippings, thatch layer. That's what we're after. Um, so I just wanted to show you that in a little more light and a little more detail. We're gonna take a broom, break it up, and then blow it off. So we have it all broken up with the broom now. We're just gonna take our blower, get her cleaned up. Much better. Now the grass underneath that stuff won't die. The sunlight can get to it and we keep moving. So we got two more spots here. One up there and one right behind us, right here. We do have a buddy working with us. Haven't seen them in a few holes. Maybe they found those beers that uh, we missed. In that case, well played. Bunkers teens getting after it. They're not as cool as us, but they're pretty cool. So we're headed to number five. If you remember, that's the green where the uh, hydraulic leak occurred. So we'll get another update. Um, as you can see here, this water should not be here. It looks cool, but it's not a water design feature by any means. We always have an issue in this area. Not 100% sure why, it just barely drains. It doesn't really drain at all. But the little birds seem to like it. Anyway, let's go check out this green. So it doesn't look bad if you approach it from this angle. But um, those bunker teams, what they're doing, you can see that under layer of the bunker, that hard packed orange stuff. What they're doing is they're pushing up the sand and other people are coming and raking it. And then the sand pro is going around and making it look all nice. But this is just pure erosion from a tremendous amount of water. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like. But then we get hit with this. I think this might be as good as it gets, guys. I think this is definitely gonna have to be tore up. I'll ask the superintendent, the new superintendent, what the plan is for this. Um, but yeah, it's dead. Oh well. The rest of the green looks beautiful. We can just cut out this part. Wildlife is really digging their new sanctuaries. These white birds are pretty neat. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Just wanted to hang out. Liking the water? Not really big into talking? All right, I'll go. Another spot for us to hit. This is probably one of my favorite holes. It's the par three six. Yeah, we'll get this all cleaned up. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you guys. I feel like I've been saying thank you a lot lately, but it's definitely warranted. Uh, we just hit 100 subscribers, which is, it's awesome. It, it, 
it blows my mind. I remember when just a little while ago we had 10 and that was awesome. Um, so I can't thank you enough. I know who you are. I write your screen names in an Excel sheet. I don't know if I can extract that from YouTube anyway easier, but um, thanks for watching. And if you do leave a comment, I owe it to you. I'll get back to you 100%. Um, but I can't tell you how much more fun this is on a daily basis uh, with you guys along for the ride. So thank you. So those guys up there are doing tea service, like you've seen me do numerous times. The new guy's actually up there. That guy's pretty awesome. Little camera shy, but. Well, looks like we just ran out of gas. Yeah, she's pretty dry. So on a golf course, a good way to get in trouble is to refill your tank when you're on grass. So even though we're in the back of a cart, we could drip out of this and then it could leak through the back of the cart and it'll immediately kill the grass. So what we have to do is get to um, one of the cart paths, either at the start of the hole or behind us um, and refill there and then come back and uh, blow this off. All right, we're all fueled up on the park path. No issue with dripping. Get back out there and finish this up. So this is number nine, meaning it's our last hole. If you remember, we started on 10, and then we did the uh, front nine last. You can see our teammate way out in the distance. Um, so we're headed back to the shop. We'll get the broom washed off and we'll get the blower put away. It's uh, 9 a.m. in the morning, uh, 81 degrees, feels really uh, nice out. So we'll see what we're doing next. So we're all set up to mow. Uh, we have the cart on the path so the tires don't get on the grass. We have the trailer slightly leaning onto the turf and then our mower. Mower should never touch the cart path ever. Um, we're gonna start with the practice chipping green. So we have our divot removal tool. That's what we're gonna be doing first. We're gonna mow. Our pattern's gonna be nine to three. And then uh, we're gonna wipe off with our um, little switch here. We have two other guys helping us, but we have to do the entire practice area and all 18 holes. So we'll probably won't finish before lunch, uh, but let's get after it. Good thing about mowing this time in the morning is the dew is perfect. You don't struggle to see your lines or anything. So we're going nine to three. Um, this is a small one, so we'll knock it out quick, but we want to try to get through all these greens before this dew burns off, make it easier on ourselves. She looks good. Let's move on to the next one. We even have some, uh, some Gatorade to help get us through. I forgot how much this made me sweat. I don't know if it's because the sun hasn't been out in like five days. Dang. Anyway, this green's looking good. Go ahead and get the flag put back in here. Keep on rocking. Probably next time I see you will be lunchtime. Already ran out of Gatorade. So we shot back over to the secret stash. All right. Done with that one. That's the final one before we go into lunch and see what the course has made for us. I'll be the you can be the judge if it's edible to you or not. But hey, it's free. Well, lunch was kind of a hodgepodge of things there. There was some lasagna, potato wedges, uh, beef wrapped in uh, cabbage, and then some brownies. Um, it was decent, I mean, free. So we were just out here for three and a half more hours, wrap up our day, so let's get after it. Man, it's hot. So that was number nine. Uh, so we're all done, mowing greens. Uh, it's looking pretty good. It is a little difficult to see your lines in the afternoon, um, but we hung in there pretty well. We just got to grab the flag and uh, then we're going to take the mower back and do our normal wash up. But uh, yeah, this green is not looking terrible. It does have some spots in it, but 
uh, it's one of the larger greens as well. All right, guys, it's 3.30. Our nine and a half hour day of the course is done. We spent the remaining uh, two or so hours there filling in those holes created by the foxes. So not much for you to look at. Um, but yeah, we're all done. We're gonna wash up and head home. Uh, thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you uh, to the 100 subscribers. That is awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed making these videos for you. Um, so thanks for watching them and uh i'll see you tomorrow